Recently I was ordering components for my new project and by a mistake I ordered those super super tiny capacitors. And then I thought it would be a really cool idea to challenge myself and see if I can solder such small components. So a few hours later I designed this PCB. This is a PCB meant just for challenging yourself, for testing what you can and cannot solder and at the same time practicing soldering. I was fine for four or five years working on my DIY projects without a microscope. You don't need that unless you are working with really small components like those components. You can't really see some of those right here probably, but once I put it under the microscope, well, that's not really a problem. And just to compare, here is a match. Let's start with bigger components and obviously for those the microscope is not needed. We just need to heat up the soldering iron. Here is the soldering iron I'm using. That's the name of it and it is already quite old but it is working fine for me and it has the hotter and normal soldering so let's turn it on. And I think I will go with 320 degrees. I already have that set up. I will start with those 2010 resistors. The value is 10 kilo ohms but it really doesn't matter. Those huge resistors are extremely easy to solder. Even if you have no experience at all, you will be totally fine with soldering those. And I think it's even easier than THT components. Uh, the principle is basically the same. You apply a little bit of solder to one of the pads, then put in place the component. You heat up this pad with the solder and then solder the other side of the component. If you are soldering a microcontroller and integrated circuit, you are doing the same thing, but you have more pins to solder basically. And a big difference right here is the solder actually. So let me show you. This one on the right is one millimeter in the diameter and the other one is 0.5 millimeters in the diameter if I remember correctly. And definitely it's easier to do with the thinner one but you can totally solder such big components with a one millimeter solder. Before we move on let me tell you about JLC PCB because they made those PCBs for me and they are the sponsor of this video. JLC is a PCB factory with years of experience. They not only produce standard two-layer PCBs, but also SMT stencils, as you will see later in this video, and multi-layer PCBs. They can also do PCB assembly for you. All you need to do is to upload your Gerber files to their website, choose the color of the solder mask that you like, and change some settings if you need to. And that's it. You are ready to order professionally manufactured PCBs for as low as $2 for five boards. Visit jlcpcb.com to learn more Link is in the description. Now a little bit harder, but still very easy. 1206 resistors and capacitors. And you may recognize those containers from my SMD organizing video that you can find right here. So far 1206, 0805 and 0603, I all did that in the past, it is extremely easy, a piece of cake. Right now the fun part begins, the real challenge, 0402, but there is a good news, I have 10,000 attempts. Just to show you the difference, here is the 1206 resistor and here is the 0402, I almost lost it already. I may need to replace the tip of my soldering iron, but let's try with this one. With such a magnifier, even without the microscope or even without the magnifier, it is doable. You can solder 0402 
without bigger problems let's take a look at my solar joints through the microscope here are the capacitors and I did that only through the magnifier so now it's time for the final test and the final test is 0201 resistor and capacitor unfortunately I wasn't able to buy the 01005 capacitor just before I will start soldering again let's compare this resistor this is the resistor that I am about to solder and let's compare it to 1206 resistor that is right here so there is a little bit of a difference as you can see this time I'm not even trying to do this without the microscope let's just try with the microscope and hope that it will work Alright, so the first one looks terrible, the second one looks bad, but I will right now solder the other side and it will most likely look terrible too. I still need to solder the smallest capacitors, but I don't really want to show you the resistors. It looks so terrible, it's not a soldering, it's a mess. But it is really hard to like get everything right. And even the smallest tip for my soldering iron is just not small enough to solder that. I think up to 0402 I did a really decent job with the soldering and I can easily use such components in my projects. But when it comes to 0208 this is just too small for me and I can't really solder well something like this. Uh, so as for now I'll still stick to 0603 because that's something that works for me. If you would like to make such a board on your own, modify it, create something different and challenge your soldering skills, there is a link to my design files in the description to my github and now the last bit, but this will be a quick thing actually, the stencil. Let's try to solder exactly the same board but with the stencil I just need to set it up put the soldering paste in place and solder that with the hotter. I really want to compare this hand soldered board the hotter because the hotter should obviously look a lot better, of course, if I will do that properly. soldering paste layer is just perfect on almost all of the components maybe the smallest 01005 and yeah, this is just like not really that perfect but on the other components it is a lot better than the last time and the last time that I was working with stencil I was using a different soldering paste so maybe that's why All the components are in place, again I use the microscope to place the smaller components and of course the bigger ones I just simply place by hand. Cool thing about using the hotter, soldering paste and stencil is that those components should align themselves while heating up with the hotter. So let me turn on the hotter and we'll start soldering. I wanted to make a video about soldering the smallest components possible and challenging my weak soldering skills but it looks like I end up with a video about a battle between an SMT stencil and hand soldering. It is definitely a lot easier to get a really nice PCB and you can get it a lot faster with an SMT stencil and soldering paste. At the same time doing it all by hand is usually possible but to some degree and it all depends on your experience. If you have any questions, want to share the knowledge, want to say what 
whatever. You can leave all of that in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and everything. Happy making, bye.